Um, this over here is a huddle space and how proper that in our huddle room over here, which we define as two to four participants at Zoom headquarters, we have a lodgy huddle. <laughs> <laughs> Very appropriately named. Yeah. So the same huddle that we saw earlier on the Zoom kiosk, we've got Rally Bar Huddle here. So a wonderful new device for those huddle spaces. And the great thing is about Logitech, you can uniquely deploy this either as an appliance room or you can plug it into a VC and then be able to run Zoom rooms on Windows. Yeah, even better, check this out. This huddle bar is plugged into a touchscreen over here. This is an LG touchscreen off the shelf. And you know, one of the basic three things we do in conference rooms are we do whiteboarding, we screen share, and we just have meetings. So let's take a look how easy to do that. If I simply walk into the space over here and I want to do a whiteboard session, all I can do is click on the whiteboard session. And just like this, um, we have over here, you know, the capability of, uh, you know, plus Zoom over here doing a simple whiteboard. And so if we just want to walk in, I didn't even start a Zoom meeting, just started collaborating over here on the fly. And, uh, you know, we can uh, collaborate together. And so how cool is this? We're doing that and, you know, whatever it is I'm drawing, we have the capability of doing that. And that right here is super simple. I haven't even jumped into a meeting. When I'm done, I can always save this over here by sending it to Zoom chat or an email person. They could be internally or externally to Zoom here. So for this case over here, I'm going to not save it. Um, also, what we have over here is the capability to do an audio call. All Zoom rooms have Zoom phone built in by default. So if I want to just simply dial a phone number, I could do this on the fly. And once I do that, it's going to go ahead and dial a regular audio call. So very useful for dialing someone's cellular phone or an audio bridge on the fly. Very simple to use. Other use cases over here. So we've covered whiteboard. We've just covered phone, a regular meeting. Uh, we also have the capability over here of uh, content sharing. So if I wanted to do content sharing, we do have over here HDMI cables here at Zoom headquarters. However, Sarah, I think it's safe to say we don't need those anymore, right? <laughs> so. No, you guys have made this super easy so that you don't have to mess up your cables with all the cables and folks don't have to worry about whether or not you got the right plug on your laptop or not. Exactly. And guess what? We don't need any additional software. I just go right to the Zoom client over here. There's a share screen button. What happens is an ultrasonic frequency comes out of the Logi technology, hits my client over here, and just like that now, I'm sharing my laptop. And this is wireless screen sharing in full frame rate. So super cool what I could do on the fly. And I can see a lot of your products over here on your website that we have here in our office, Sarah. Love it. Another note around simplicity too, the Rally Bar Huddle has a very unique multi mount. You see it here deployed on top of the TV, but it can also be tabletop stand or wall mounted. You don't need to worry about whether you bought the right mount or not. The multi mount does all three and it's included in the box. So you don't have to worry about that. Yep. And if I go and stop sharing at the bottom uh, left over there, yep. um, when we do this over here, now we're going to jump into the meeting. So the easiest way to jump in the meeting is click on the join button, which we highly recommend you always have that in your Zoom rooms, whether it's on this touch panel or on the taps, uh, uh, sorry, the tap IP on the table. It's always easiest to have the one button to join, but we also have voice commands. So if I say, hello, Zoom, join meeting. Do you want to join the meeting? Yes. Starting the meeting. How cool. better so then it's open and ready for that meeting and now we're actually so now we're actually on the logi huddle system and this is the experience from the room so very cool we could do from uh, this experience over here and um, we can sit down one of the cool things about this over here is um i don't know if you knew this sir and this is a, a collaboration right of course of, of this living in our software but also it lives in the um environment with this huddle space over here because we'll have to do how annoying is it when people open a bag of chips? Or if I'm coming here and I'm doing my coffee or like having my lunch or something like that. Amazing that you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yes. And then like if I take over here, exactly, this is also real world stuff. So if I get this paper over here, let me go and tear it. So these, these little small noises, a very practical use of AI is to just block out those frequencies we don't need. And the most annoying one, if you hand me that gun over there. Uh, that's what this is. <laughs> yeah, when, when people post sales here at Zoom, um, you actually do see over here this gong. And this gong over here can be very loud and annoying. So still going, and, and basically, again, this is the, the algorithm, the noise block AI that helps us eliminate those noises that you don't want. 
very useful. And this again is a collaboration over here. Um, you're seeing it work with a Logi Huddle Bar and of course our Zoom Room software. So very powerful and another practical use of AI.